doing, buddy? I'm okay. I'm very good. How are you doing? Very, very well. I'm sorry for not picking up. For some reason, I thought our interview today was 1 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, so when I didn't hear oh. from you, I said, oh, well, we'll get, it. we'll get them another day. Maybe something came up, but um, oh. you're right on point, apparently. Well, I don't, I don't you know, my, my thing says 1 p.m. Pacific Time, so. Okay. Well, here we are anyway, so... Um, okay, yeah, this is good. I can, or any other time is fine, too, so you let me know. So uh, where are you calling from today? Uh, my uh, Thousand Oaks, California. Uh, I'm a California boy myself, Santa Monica. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I kind of grew up in Mar Vista, so close by. Oh, great, great. You ever get into uh, any of the, uh, the beach activities as a kid, like skateboarding or surfing or anything like that? Well, yeah, I, I surfed, and then I cracked my head open surfing, and uh, and so then I, I became a pretty good body surfer. I kind of won some, you know, some uh, some competitions body surfing, so. Oh, that's excellent, man. See, every time we do interviews, we always learn something new about you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so I hear you guys are coming up uh, to Boca to the Funky Biscuit. Very yeah. excited. Um, oh, good. Have you, you guys, have you, it? what was that? Are you going to be able to make it? Uh, I'll probably make both shows. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I think, have you guys played there before? No, we've never played there. Oh, this is, you're going to love it. It's uh, it's like a living room. It's pretty large, but it's, uh, it's a very intimate feel. The lighting, the sound, everything is fantastic. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, That's yeah. Great. So, yeah. Um, how many shows uh, do you guys do a year? I mean, you guys seem to be always on tour. Well, I know we we do about 60. I mean, 60 is a good number for us. Uh, we'd actually like to bump it up to 80. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know. So, so. Depends, you know. Can yeah. you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Yeah. So, I mean, we wouldn't mind going up to, you know, try 80 and then try 100 and see, you know, just find out where our burnout level is. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you obviously enjoy what it is you do for a living, and uh, to be out there doing it for the people every year the way that you do must be so satisfying. It is. It's it's great. I mean, um, we we don't get we don't get tired of it. So you know, uh, I think it's a testament to the music. Mm -hmm. You know, first of all, that we still enjoy doing it. You know. Now. You're, you're uh, an original member of Ambrosia from pretty much day one, and looking back to that, to, to that time, did you think when you got into this whole thing that you would still be doing it today? Uh, I didn't really think about it, uh, per se. Um, so, you know, every day is kind of a surprise that, uh, you know, that I even have a life. So I appreciate every every opportunity <laughs> now now looking out into the audience uh you know every time you do a show i mean i notice it because i've covered your show like eight times already and i look out and i always see a younger crowd you know the kids coming with their parents and such because obviously the parents you know our age i'm 48 you know are playing the radio and we always although we listen to current music you know i know myself and a lot of people i know my age always go back to the 70s or early 80s and such for that great music and obviously their kids are in a car and they're listening to it too and becoming so familiar with your music as well right well that is funny that you say that because we are getting generations and uh and that is really really nice to, to uh you know to see a young person who's you know uh made their parents come or parents that have made their young people come their, their children come, so it's it's really cool. We love it. Yeah, it al almost goes to show that that Ambrosia's music definitely transcends the generations as well. Well, you know what's cool is uh, uh, what we I really enjoy is a lot of times we'll get very young bands, you know, younger bands who you know get turned on to some early prog stuff or you know stuff like that, and they and you know they're there to see us play, so. It's really nice to know that we're influencing younger bands. Mm -hmm. So I really, really enjoy that, yes. Well, what I find interesting is your last name has the word drum in it, and here you are, a, 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 a seasoned and accomplished drummer. 
Um, do you play any other instruments? Yeah, I do. I, I play guitar, I play piano, mm -hmm. I play a lot, all the uh, orchestral percussion, you know, marimba, xylophone. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, I, I, I wouldn't want to walk on. I, with Mary, my wife, we yeah. do that band tin drum, mm -hmm. and I go out with keyboards and guitar. But, you know, I'm not, uh, you know, I'm not as uh, developed a guitar player, piano player as I am a drummer. And right. sometimes I want the drumming, so, you know, there you go. Now, you had mentioned your, your beautiful wife, Mary, who is in the band and also tours and everything. You know, most yeah. musicians go on the road. They, they leave their wife or the, or, or, or the performer leaves her husband at home and such. Uh, do you find it very easy to, to travel with your, with, uh, with your wife? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. I mean, I don't know how I do it without her. Yeah. Um, it's just uh, I've, I've gotten... I've gotten so you know so used to her being there and uh, and, and you know you know it's the road you think of it as being exciting and all that and it is but it's it's kind of a lonely place you know because you're spending a lot of nights alone in hotel rooms and things like that so having my wife with me makes all the difference in the world. Oh, I can only imagine, and I could imagine back in the days when you guys started touring on the buses and flying here and there. Uh, You'd be on the road for weeks and weeks and did not have the technology that we have today to FaceTime and, and things like that. So I could understand how difficult and, and lonely and maybe even depressed you would get being on the road while your family's back at home. You can, yeah. Uh, so, I mean, you know, and plus the fact that Mary is such, such a great musician. Yes. She, is, she really is stealing the show these days. So, you know, that makes it great. So what, what's coming up next for Ambrosia? I mean, you guys are on the road. Any new material? Anything uh, in the secret vault that might be coming out soon uh, from back in the day or anything like that? Well, actually, I think uh, we're negotiating with a label. This might, might be premature to recover all our old masters and stuff. And the new label that's interested wants to do, you know, uh, a release of all a lot of songs that were never, like, you know, that never made the light of day. <clears throat> so that's going to be exciting. Um, and uh, uh, also, too, um, we're always working on new stuff, and we're bringing what's neat is we always rechannel some of the old stuff that we haven't done mm -hmm. live, much like, say, Drink of Water and things like that, the deeper cuts. Yes. We're going to be bringing those back out, too. So it's a, Ambrose is always evolving, and that's great. Cause it, it always keeps your interest. You're never... You never know what you're going to do. You know? Exactly. Well, awesome, Burley. Thank you so much for taking time out of your busy touring schedule to talk with rockbandreviews.com today. And we will be seeing you at the Funky Biscuit real soon. Bill, thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure to talk with you. All right, I'll come over and say hi to you guys. Please do. All right, safe travels, brother. All right, man. Thanks a lot. All righty. Bye-bye, Burley. Bye.